Please note the following field notice regarding the Cisco Cloud onboarding feature for Cisco Unified Communications Manager and Diamond Presence. This field notice affects the push notification service for Jabber clients to receive push notifications for calls and messages when the Jabber client is not active. As of November 1st, 2021, the Quovanus Root Certificate Authority will be decommissioned on the Unified Communications Manager and Diamond Presence platforms for the version specified. The Quovanus Root CA is replaced by the Identrust Commercial Root CA. Several system services on both the Communications Manager and Diamond Presence servers must be restarted for this change. Additionally, there may be some steps required to obtain the new Identrust Commercial Root CA certificate. The Communications Manager version and the current status of the Cisco Cloud onboarding feature will determine which steps need to be taken to update the certificate on the Communications Manager cluster. There are two scenarios to consider. Customers who have already configured the Cloud onboarding feature and customers who are configuring Cloud onboarding for the first time. Secondly, the next consideration is whether an option labeled I want Cisco to manage the Cisco Cloud Service CA certificates required for this trust is checked and enabled under the Cloud Onboarding Configuration. These variables along with the Communications Manager version determine the course of action needed. If Communications Manager is on version 14 SU1 and the Cloud Onboarding option for Cisco to manage the certificate is checked, there is no action required. The Identrust certificate will be automatically copied to the Tomcat Trust store. If this option is not checked under version 14 SU1, then the Identrust Commercial Root CA certificate must be manually uploaded. If Cisco Communications Manager is on any other version and the cloud onboarding feature is already configured, the same rule applies. There is no action required if the option for Cisco to manage certificates is checked. But if unchecked, the certificate needs to be manually uploaded. Now the situation is a bit different if this is the first time cloud onboarding is being configured and Communications Manager is on any version older than 14 SU1. In this situation, it doesn't matter if the option for Cisco to manage certificates is checked. Regardless of this option, the Identrust certificate will need to be manually uploaded. For all scenarios described, follow these steps to check for the Identrust Commercial Root CA certificate and upload it if needed. From the field notice, you can create the Identrust certificate. Highlight the certificate as shown and copy the contents. Open Notepad and paste the certificate details. Then name the file with the .der extension. You can open this file in Windows to make sure the certificate is valid. You can also download the Identrust certificate from their website. Now we can upload this to the server. From the CUCM publisher note, go to the Cisco Unified OS Administration page. Under Security, choose Certificate Management. In the Find field, type Tomcat Trust and then click Find. If you do not see the Identrust certificate as represented here, choose the option to Upload Certificate. Set the certificate purpose to Tomcat Trust and find the Identrust certificate just created. Upload the certificate and you should see the certificate appear in the Tomcat Trust list. Carry out the same steps on I am a Presence to confirm the Identrust certificate is also listed in the Tomcat Trust store for presence. Once you have confirmed the Identrust Commercial Root CA certificate is in place either from the automatic Cisco Managed option or manually, there are several services that must be restarted. The Cisco Tomcat service must be restarted on the CUCM Publisher node. The Cisco Push Notification service must be restarted on all CUCM nodes that have the service activated. The Cisco XCP Router service 
and the Cisco XCP Config Manager service must be restarted on all IAM and Presence nodes. Contact Cisco Tech if you have any questions or need further assistance. Thank you for watching.